Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this analysis. One Governor Kiraitu Murutngi is finding it difficult to campaign in Meru, either using the Mbaz party or Azimio la Umoja. I want to be very cautious with this because there is a thin line between the bus and Azimio la Umoja. Kiritu Murungi joined Azimio last minute after making a delegates conference, after um, holding their delegates conference in a church, I think, somewhere in Meru. And he is seeking re-election in Meru through the bus party. Another thing, Kiritu Murungi is getting the endorsement or rather the support of his arch rival in 2017, that is Peter Munya. Because President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila implored on Peter Munya not to go there and seek re-election. And that was to make sure that they work together towards the ninth general election. But there is a video that has emerged. I want you to listen to that uh, video clip. It's a 45 second video clip. Then we'll try to do some uh, interpretation of that clip and what exactly is causing that situation. If you watch, if you watch uh, that clip, you will realize that they were campaigning somewhere. And there is the other clip, there is another clip that is almost a three-minute uh, three video. And in that clip, it is actually showing that there are people who are still shouting as a meal, while some other fellows were shouting Uda. What Kiraitu Murungi is saying in that rally is something that is worrying the Railo Dinga team. Because if he was fully behind Railo Dinga, then straight he was just to make his point as he seeks the governor's uh, votes he will also say that please vote for Raila Amolo Odinga because for the governors or anyone who is fully supporting Raila Odinga or even supporting William Ruto on the other side as you seek your seat as you campaign for your seat you also need to tag that with the presidential candidate but then that is something that he did not do so and again Someone might actually ask, why exactly could he just say, vote for Raila Odinga? Why is he uh, having the change of tone? So, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I want us to look at something very critical and we'll ask ourselves a very important question. The question, the, the most casual question that everyone else is asking is, uh, is it because the place is hostile? We'll find out. So, kindly... If you're watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, I want to kindly request you to subscribe to our channel. Please click the notification bell so that when we publish this video and many other videos, you will be getting the notification. And of that, not some people are telling me, why didn't you remind me? Now, if you click the notification button, you'll be receiving this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I received this clip. Uh, this clip went viral yesterday. Then I was talking to an MCA aspirant who was my, um, my, 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 my cosmate back in campus, who is now seeking uh, an MCA seat there through the UDA. Actually, he's seeking through Azimio. Then he was telling me that it is very difficult, it was even very difficult for him to use the bus party because he's, he could still get direct nomination through the bus, direct ticket to buy. But he's saying that because the colors of mass are yellow and UDA is yellow, the psychology of voters in Meru, are they don't find it very easy. For example, he was telling me that the reason why Kiretu Murungi is, is facing that situation that he has now to mention even UDA is because one, UDA has a, substan, uh, a very a huge chunk of people following them there. 
Then, with the yellow color, which is the bus, uh, the, 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 the symbolic color for the bus, even when you are in the caravan and you are somewhere far, if you don't mention bus, people still think you are in UDA. Now, even if you are campaigning, and when they are campaigning, they are in that caravan, the minds of people when they see the yellow color, because the dominant party, which has done a lot of publicity, is UDA, people tend to relate it with the UDA. And in fact, he was saying that he was very honest with me, telling me that if Kereto Murungi will be vying through UDA, he will stand a very good chance in that area. Because with the UDA and the bus, is Okala Zenafanana. And people tend to associate the bus party with the UDA. That is something that I think um, could be happening. And that is why I think supporters of Kireitu Murungi, the mix up in that party is causing psychologically, it's affecting the visibility and the dominance of the bus party in Meru. Number two, the question here is this. Huh? Why do you think Kireitu Murungi is tagging along Ruto's message? What he's simply saying is this. Please vote for me down here, but Hapa Ju, vote for whoever you want. Now, this is something that should worry uh, Azmio team. Because uh, this, what this means is uh, that he is very unpopular. He is an unpopular candidate. In fact, when we say that the ground is hostile, we will be so general. But to get the cutting edge, I want to feel that I am persuaded that he is so pop he is unpopular there and because of that situation he's now trying to ride on the euphoria of the uda he wants to be seen as a person who is cutting across that is something that i think is doing a disservice to himself <clears throat> in fact i am for the opinion that there's a new team made a mistake they would have allowed um Kiritu murungi even to seek that governor seat but allow Peter Munya to go and seek an elective seat there. I watched a clip of Peter Munya, I think he was somewhere in Embu, and you can see the reception. I want to play for you that clip here. <laughs> Now, if you look at that clip, you see a person who is very popular. And I want to say that I think with him not seeing an elective seat there, Kiretu Murungi is not one that is really decided. Another question that begs us this. Is it that Mithika Linturi is giving Kiretu Murungi a run for his money? That will be likely. Because Mithika Linturi got into that race late after UDA tried to persuade uh, 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 Kiretu Murungi to join them, and he refused. He was adamant, and I think because of the gentleman, he has a very cordial relationship with Raila because they were together in the trenches. If you remember Raila saying that at one point Kiretu Murungi was his personal lawyer. So he just felt like he wanted, he needed to be around, he needed just to support Raila Dinga. Now, when Ruto uh, planted Mithika Lenturi there, UDA had a candidate. And for one thing he might be feeling is that he is already taking, trying to make inroads. Now, this inroads is something that is worrying Kiraitu Murungi. Because if the UDA supporters will turn up and vote for him, and I'm told there is also another female candidate, there is also a woman, another woman there who is seeking that seat, and they are not giving him very easy time in that place. I want to understand one thing, that Mithika, that he has already shivered 
because of the presence of Mithika Linturi in that race. This is something that Azimio Campaign Secretariat must work on. How the people that are seeking elective seats through Azimio affiliate parties are going to package their messaging to be consistent with Raila Odinga's presidential campaign, with Raila Odinga's presidential um, 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 aspirations. Because unlike the areas of Nyanza, where is Raila Odinga's home, and that is the place that harbors his candidature, it is very easy because the candidates there already, they are saying, ni pigie, then pigie Raila. For Raila say that, move to me because I support Raila Odinga in Nyanza is easy. But there are people, especially from central Kenya, and this is not just a Kiraitu Murungi affair. We know very well that there are even Mount Kenya elected leaders who are seeking re-election in those areas that do not want to associate the Raila Odinga messaging. And because there is already some sort of some disconnect. I think the Azimu team might, must find a way that the elected leaders are going to be consistent, have consistent messaging with Raila Odinga's aspirations. The reason why I'm saying this is very important is because like, this is like a pipeline and Maji Natoka Jui Kishuka Chin. So for that Maji to move, the pipe needs to go this way. It must be sloppy enough. But if it is not sloppy, Maji Haita and Achidi. I'm using that analogy to explain this. The people that will sell the Raila Dinga's presidential aspirations and agenda are the leaders that are seeking MCA seats, MP seats, and the governor seats. And if this cannot be done, then there is a likelihood that they might get their they they, they might get their seats down there. Hapa you, they cheat Raila, okay, we are doing this, but they are not even going to support Raila Odinga. So they can win their seats and the presidential ballot goes to Raila's, Raila's competitor. I think this is something that's a two-way. Even William Ruto said, must find a way they tailor-made an aspirant in, in, in Machakos. If he's talking about his an MP, saying, Nipigin, tafanya hi, na hi, na hi. It's very simple. Ntafanya, ntafanya hi, na hi, na hi. Lakini for me to achieve this, you also need to vote for Raila Odinga up there because my manifesto and Raila's manifesto are consistent. That consistency is needed. And even if that is what is going to make people understand what exactly Raila Odinga stands for. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my analysis. What do you think? And what about the U-turn that Kiretu Murungi is making?